Hi again, I'm back, and this is uh, my project plan for May 22nd into June. These are the items that I want to, to use out or finish up. And let's get started because my last video time ran out, and so I don't want it to happen in this video. So I usually start with body face. And so for, for body products, I just limited to three because I've been experimenting with a couple perfumes and I know that they're not going to finish anytime soon. So in reality, I'm not going to add too many things so I can't finish it. But I have this Cherry Blossom um, Fine Fragrance Mist from Bottom Body Works. And it's here when I started um, for this month, I actually put a little um, nail polish here to see where it started in me. And so for the month of me, I've actually used up this much, so it's pretty, um, I was able to use up quite a bit, so I want to finish this. Next, we have this um, Midnight Pomegranate Lotion, and as you can see, I just barely have some left, so I'm hoping to finish it out. It's not one of my favorite scents, so I'm hoping to finish this out and move on to something else. Um, next, we have... This Sasha Imperial perfume that I'm trying to finish for the past two months now. So I'm hoping that I can finish this very soon. On to the makeup stuff for face. Um, this is back in my project plan. The VS um, Very Sexy Total um, say total Makeup Remover. But I use this only for my eyes. For foundation, I'm, I'm placing this clinic. Now I know it's been a, used putting in foundation. It's going to be ambitious. But... Yeah, um, I'm putting in this uh, Clinique Super Fit Makeup in um, Vanilla GMF25. So this is going in Project Pan. For moisturizer, I'm actually using this gel, dramatically different moisturizing gel. And as you can see, it's here, and I want to finish it up. I have so many of these samples, Clinique things that I want to use up before they go bad. Back again is my Smashbox sample face primer. This is where it's at. Love this stuff. We'll definitely be buying this in full size. I've also added to this is my um, Studio Sculpt Concealer. This is for underneath my eyes. This was given to me and recommended by a MAC makeup artist. I think it's too dark for me, but she was telling me I needed to use it for under my eyes. Well, I wanted something to use under my eyes because I do get dark circles from lack of sleep. And she told me that since it looked my under my eyes look dry, she would recommend a studio scalp. But this is not too much difference, I find. So I would have to get something a little more, um, that gives more coverage. But I want to finish this out because it is MAC and it's, it was quite, it was hefty compared to the regular drugstore, um, the drugstore concealers. So... I know I've I've been trying to use it for a while now, so I thought I'll I have a good dent inside it. I thought I will just add it to project plan and hope to finish it and just get something else. I wanna get though the studio skull um studio fix or the prolonged wear. So I um, have this back here and then I can see this will be for the rest of the year. Um but this is an elf three in one um all over stick color and toasted and I use this to highlight and it just yeah. But anywho is um next that is for face. Um I don't have any blush in this one because I took up my elf blush and rose because it have been there for a while and I just wanted to hit pan and you know just start using up it. So I don't think I wanna put any other blush inside my project pan because I have quite a few that I wanna just start using and rotate and I bought a blush palette also. So I wanna start being able to experiment and use blushes and plus well, it's summer and you know everybody wants to have flush cheeks so yeah on to eyes I've decided not to even add also for eyes any eyeshadow palettes because that's going to be totally ambitious I remembered um, putting in my 48 from elf in the warm edition when I now started on the project pan and that I eventually had to just settle with four of the items sitting pan and almost finish it for me to move on so I don't want to add any more of that but um for eye products, I have this Clinique All About Eyes Rich Moisturizer. And as you can see, I've hit pan on this, so I've been using this for most of the month. And I've, I use this um, in the night and in the morning with, underneath my foundation. 
for primers, um, you have the Bare, Bare Minerals Prime Time, um, the Elf Mineral Eyeshadow Primer in Sheer and Blushing, and Blushing is in my handbag. I've actually added this Garnier Skin Renew Anti Dark Circle Roller because I've had this for a while. I want to use it up. I have back here my eye magnifier mascara in extreme black and I've added this elf very black um, luxury liner so I'm hoping to use that out for lips I just have four items um, I have my EOS lip balm which is started off with me in the project band and again I have bravado um, from pretty amazing bare, well, bare minerals sample lip gloss because it's so bright for me, I tend to just use a little. My NYX lip liner natural. Um, as you can see, I love this actually. Um, lip liner, this is like my third one that I've used. And this darling pink Avon Glazewear lip gloss. I have this a while. I've actually added one nail item and this is... Um, a uh, beauty secrets rich filler um, it's more like a base coat that you can use when you take out your acrylics well I actually I'm using it right now as a base coat because I'm not doing acrylic nails and I noticed that it's getting thick and I want to try to just use it up as much as I can as much product possible and um, get rid of it because I've had this almost for like three years so with the I didn't start using it for three years but I had it for like three years and I started using it um, sometime last year so I just want to finish it up before it really gets because nail polish do expire so I want to use it so that's my product um, the items for my project plan they are 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 they're 20 products this is not project 10 pan it's project 20 pan my last one was like 27 items and so this is a little less and these are items I'm actually currently using and so they should be easy to finish. I try to be um, to use or put in project pan items that I've started using that are close enough to finishing rather than just put new items because really and truly they're not going to hit pan or finish anytime soon. So that's it. For those of you who are doing project pan, you can um, link me below or let me check, um, message me to check your channel. Because I love watching Project Pan videos, they actually help me to keep going and keep doing it. But um, I just wanted to give an update on my Project Pan. You will see haul videos in on my channel and that's because I have been doing a really different Project Pan. I tried doing the one where you just don't buy anything at all and it was working pretty okay and I think I did pretty well in stuff that I finished. Hence why I've actually decided to change it up a little bit and... Um, I will be continuing with Project Pan, but what I've decided to do is to just um, limit myself to purchasing certain things. Not too much in any particular item, but just use certain things. Um, but I'm sorry, purchase certain things every month that and not just go overboard with buying just a lot of stuff and hoarding again, because that would be so counterproductive. So I limit myself to like 50 US. Which I know is kind of a lot, but that could include things like foundation or certain high-end products that I want to try out. And um, I don't necessarily have to use up to $50. I can use up to $50. And so I have not used actually the $50 for this month as yet. Um, just because I have to get my Pro Longwear foundation. That's almost finished. So I'm leaving it for that. Um, the rest of money. But I... Um, I like using up my stuff and getting rid of it rather than just having it go bad on me. So thanks again everyone for watching. Um, if you have any comments, please comment below. If you have any special requests, you can do so. And um, thanks again for watching. Bye.